Where'd you get all the money from, man? Bags of cash seized in a South Carolina traffic stop. You got money in every pocket, man. Some of it didn't make it back to the evidence room. When you come to the office, make sure you keep your reporter on. We'll make sure there's no, nobody's saying that we're doing any funny stuff. Did you take any of that money? Mm -hmm. South Carolina troopers, including a trooper of the year, under investigation. Asked me if I had any idea why we're missing 3,000. And I was kind of at a loss. I said, dude, I said, I have no clue. And the prosecution of a suspected drug dealer in jeopardy. So what do you think happened to the money? A South Carolina troopers back on patrol months after a state investigation into allegations he took money from a traffic stop. Troopers seized more than $100,000 and a bag of drugs during a roadblock outside Columbia last summer. Even with the state's investigations finished, questions remain concerning exactly how much money was seized that night. Here's Chief Investigator Jody Barr with tonight's Tarnished Trooper investigation. All right, Mr. Holliday, how much have you had to drink? When John Holliday decided to turn down Pearson Road, he was just seconds away from a pack of highway patrolmen. The first one he met, Corporal Cam Welsh. He used to turn and face me, put your feet together, and your arms down by your side for me, okay? Welsh says he smelled alcohol and marijuana on Holiday and thought he was drunk. And Welsh is pretty good at spotting DUIs. He was named the patrol's Trooper of the Year for DUIs in 2015. As well as honoring Highway Patrol First Class James Cameron Welch. An honor that brought lawmakers to pass a resolution on the State House floor in his name. The patrol named him Troop One's Trooper of the Year once again in 2019. Hey, go ahead. Okay. Holiday was for sure facing a DUI charge this night last July, but things got even more serious when Corporal Welsh got into the man's car to move it out of the road. I found a large sum of currency in your car. Mm -hmm. You have any comment on that? Mm -mm. You don't. Yeah, they ain't no, you don't have a good reason why you have that much money. You know about how much money it is. Mm -mm. You don't. Welsh and his men searched Holiday's car and found two bags full of cash. They also found a bag of drugs on the front seat. You in the game? Uh, huh? You in the game? Semi. Yeah, but I just can't, you know, like once I get run, it, that's all I got is my word. But once I get run, it's over. It, it, it ain't nothing I can be able to talk about. The troopers were stuck with the drug case and the cash. How much money do you think that is? I don't even know. The table, yeah. I don't know. Is that yours? Your money? Mm -mm. That's somebody else's money? He's transporting them. Yeah, this somebody asked me to do him a favor. And they paying you to move it. A trooper hauled Holiday off to jail while Welsh and another trooper bagged the drugs and cash. Welsh grabbed a clear plastic evidence bag from his patrol car and bagged even more cash he found inside a console. Tonight from this checkpoint. Troopers at that point did not know how much cash they had. Corporal Welsh drove the load back to the Troop 1 office and used his in-car camera to record the trip. All right, sir, go ahead and step out for me. Trooper Will Baker still had to figure out what to do with the cash he found in John Holliday's pockets. He called his boss, Corporal Cam Welsh, to find out. Make sure you keep your reporter on in your car. Just leave it on that way. There won't be ever any question about, about anything with that money. Like I said, I've never, I've never got this much currency where I'm dealing with it myself, so I just want to make sure there's no, nobody saying that we're doing any funny stuff. Welsh got to the patrol office first. He parked in the back and shut his car off, which he says turned his camera off. Welsh was alone and says he carried the two large bags of cash inside and waited on the others to get there. It took the troopers hours to count the cash. Patrol evidence technician Matthew Nix also rushed to Sumter to join them. His job to make sure the troopers followed patrol policy in counting the cash so that every dollar was accounted for. Nix knew his count and the troopers count had to match before the job was done. Nix and Welsh signed this tally form confirming the exact amount written on the sheet was the exact dollar amount inside the evidence bags. Then three days later, 
the patrol took the cash to the bank. The bank counted $107,342, not the $110,482 the troopers reported. On paper, $3,140 was unaccounted for. Nick's called me and he told me that they were missing $3,000 or over $3,000. Dude, I don't know. Have a clue what's going on with that. But Welsh left an important detail out in the call. An internal investigation by the patrol's Office of Professional Responsibility found Welsh called Corporal Nix back 24 minutes later with a confession. I just went ahead and told him then. I said, listen, I found an evidence bag of money in my car. And I said, it's not $3,000. I said, so it has, and it wasn't even counted. This fell in between the briefcase and my back seat. I said, uh, can you go through your chain of command, inform your sergeant of, of the situation that you just told me. Get ahead of this before it starts looking worse than it already is. Right. I said, because our count that we had in the Sumter office is way off, way off, that this does not help. That evidence bag was the one Corporal Welsh used to bag the cash he pulled from John Holliday's console. It was the third cash bag Welsh loaded into his patrol car at the roadblock, a bag that never made it inside the patrol office to be counted. 42. Two days passed after Corporal Welsh found that missing evidence bag, and for two days, he didn't tell anyone at the patrol about it. Instead, you got the sheriff here from Clarity County Sheriff's Office? He called his stepfather, Clarendon County Sheriff Tim Baxley. Welsh says the sheriff told him to call a supervisor to report what happened. Instead of calling your stepdad, why didn't you call Paige on Monday? I don't know. Freaked out. Just dumb, dumb on my part. Scared to death. Because now it looks like, yeah, oh, know. look, hey, look, Nick oh, brings God. it to your attention. And oh, you're like, oh, yeah, by the way, Sunday night I found, you know, here we are two days later. Huh. Um, so that's where there's a lot of concerns there. There is. Um, the patrol immediately suspended Corporal Welsh and Corporal Nix. You turned all your stuff in? Everything. What about your uniforms at home? Did they get those too? So when they have suspended me as if he said as if I was terminated. I don't have a single thing. The patrol asked the state law enforcement division to investigate, looking for evidence of criminal acts. Sled interviewed Welsh and Nix and later interviewed Trooper Will Baker, the trooper who took John Holliday to jail that night. The patrol quickly determined Trooper Baker did nothing wrong and never suspended him. Do you think it's possible that y'all did not count the money correctly? I think we should have we should have done a much better job of counting. Do you um, think it's possible anybody took the money? Let me just make, ask that for clarification. There's no way. Okay. Well said he and his men were as thorough as possible. In a recorded interview between OPR investigators and evidence tech Matthew Nix, Nix admitted the group did not follow policy. Honestly, I was exhausted. I was physically counting 20s nodding and I, I compare it to bobbing for apples. I, I nodded off several times counting 20s and then have to catch myself and start back over the stack I was counting. I mean it had gotten so mundane to that point and then of course this was, I don't know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, I was off my game. I mean I ain't gonna, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I was tip top and I thought you know, I was doing the best I could because I knew I could not leave that building without us in agreement. Nix told SLED no one inside that troop office that night did anything criminal. As complicated of a matter as this is, to me, it's a simple explanation. We messed the count up. That's it. It was miscounted. Do you think anybody took the money? No. The patrol's internal investigators agreed, finding the $3,000 discrepancy likely the result of a miscount. The patrol found Nix violated policy by failing to count and document the seized cash, a policy about which the 17-year patrol veteran claimed ignorance. Honestly, I, I don't know the policy, even though I do work at CEF. I know what I was taught. Mm -hmm. Nix got a one-day suspension without pay. But nobody did a recount behind anybody. But the investigation into Corporal Welsh's missing evidence bag was not finished. 
So is it underneath your seat when you found it on Sunday? No. I know we're getting a little ahead, but I'm just curious. Back seat, briefcase, there's about that big of a gap. So it slid closer to the seat versus slide to you. The bag Welsh surrendered four days after the seizure contained $894. Because it wasn't part of the original count, there's no way to confirm it's the actual dollar amount or the actual sealed evidence bag Welsh pulled out of the console the night of the seizure. The patrol tells us it found insufficient evidence to indicate otherwise. Would you want to uh, do a polygraph? Absolutely. SLED polygraphed each of the troopers. SLED records show troopers Baker and Reichard showed no deception indicated. Nix's first polygraph showed deception indicated, but a second test came back with no opinion. Both times SLED polygraphed Corporal Welsh, his results are listed as deception indicated. SLED sent its investigation to the Sumter County Solicitor, who declined prosecution, finding a lack of substantial evidence that any of the troopers committed a crime. Everybody that I have dealings with, I'll tell you, Matt, I'd bet my job on him. He wouldn't take a penny. My two boys that were with us, Baker and Riker, they wouldn't take a penny. I, I know I, would, I don't need it. I mean, not just saying, I mean, I work hard. I have a, I have a plumbing business that I make triple what I make with Highway Patrol. I mean, I just don't need, I've got 11, almost 11 years in, I wouldn't need that. The Highway Patrol's internal investigators found Corporal Cam Welsh also wiped his department-issued cell phone the day after he found out he was under investigation. The trooper claims he did so because he had personal contact information stored in his work phone. The patrol determined Welsh committed multiple violations, not properly counting and documenting the cash he seized, mishandling evidence, and destroying and deleting public records. When he factory reset, his department issued cell phone. The patrol demoted Cameron Welsh to a Lance Corporal, cut his salary by $11,000 and moved him to another area of the state. I asked both Matthew Nix and Cam Welsh for an interview, but neither agreed to speak with us.